It's early in the day, quiet, peaceful. Been a while since I stream. A little bit too long to be on. We're having a peaceful time, even though I've just got a sudden pain in my side, which I'm sure is perfectly normal. Just having a relaxing time. I mean, MJ didn't have a sudden pain in her side. <laughs> She's fine. She was part of a train robbery uh, yesterday, but... trying to figure out what to do today because I got some hours free before I have cool look feel later but MJ needs to do some stuff first we got you know what we'll keep that there because I got shit to fucking shit to do Someone left a note on the house with an employment inquiry, so we're going to contact them. MJ's other rifle was stolen yesterday. But I was also given an AV. <laughs> I 
And the rifle that was stolen is this chick. And you need to see that. The rifle that was stolen. was the first one that she ever got and it's pink and it has Mr. McFarlane wrote on it and it was gifted to her by Buzz Buxton. So maybe she'll get that back at some point. What's your daily? If I'm quiet, it's because I'm eating crisps and I don't want to subject you to the crunch. They are smoky, smoky bacon crisps because it's either that or beef and onion because those are the only the only ones we had left because I ate all of the roast chicken and ready soup ones that we had. I've gradually dwindled down my option. You know what MJ needs to do actually? MJ needs to make some money. He needs to make some money because with the train robbery yesterday, the vo like the safe on the train wasn't working because it's a bit bugged. Trying to fix that, but Raddy Raddy bought like six hundred dollars, and MJ bought like two hundred, so that people robbing the train. Because we, when there's high value trains, and you've spoke about them for at least a week, you assume someone's probably going to try and rob it. We we made sure we had enough that it could get. Robbed. However, that $200 was most of what was in MJ's bank. So we need, to, need to get her some more. MJ's very poor right now. Which is like reasonable. Reporter Benjin, someone that MJ is starting to see, but I bump into him way too rarely. Yeah, about hiring a train.
So to snow, I'm eating crisps. Why do you have to write me when I'm eating? Hello, Itsy Bitsy. I will not pour the crisps into my mouth because I ate like one second ago and it there was a sharp bit that stabbed the roof of my mouth. So I'm not going to do that. Go to bed. I've been up way too long. Love you too, Nino. Go to sleep. Okay, we're gonna send a telegram to fucking. Okay, we sent one to Benjamin. Got one from Beckwith. I sent him a riddle. <laughs> Beckwith has sent MJ riddles, so I sent him one back. He needs time. Got a good one. Also, he said he loves you. MJ told Rip that she got robbed on the train. Did you just have a fucking coffee? I got tea. It's okay. I just started straight. Oh my god. What a night, hun. Robbed twice. First by Vernon Gaines, then by Mills Alice and all their friends. Vernon got picked up by deputies within two minutes of robbing me. Got all my things back. Seems to have it out for me for some reason. I didn't have anything of value with Mills and Alice. They took my cigarettes and sick daughters. They did take some stuff from Bonnie, who was with me. I don't know what to make of Bonnie yet. She says to reach out to her if I need anything made of green, yet snaps at me when I try to be personable. She's stroking herself to find just trying to navigate with me. And lay my head down. Love you, honey. All my hugs and kisses. Love, Rip. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Crazy Eagle, hello! Welcome to writing telegrams, drinking tea and eating crisps. How's it going? Never news. Hello. Welcome. Fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna move my tea away from me because I've nearly knocked over my tea during the stretch before. That was a bad idea. I've got a little keyboard, and if any tea gets spilt on this, it's going through the entire fucking thing. My posture's okay, because I just straight... Oh, is my neck gonna crack? Yes. I don't know if that came through. <laughs> my bones are loud.
I've got a little keyboard. My my brother. I'm I'm the youngest of five. One of my brothers gave me one keyboard that he wasn't using that's quite small. It's really good. And it lights up. Though I think I broke the light up stuff, because now only one key lights up and I don't know why. I don't know how to fix it. But the rest of it works. Also, what we're, what we're doing today is I'm not going to be on super late. I've got Call of Cthulhu at like 7, so I'm going to end the stream at the latest at like 6. So I can have some time to relax. Maybe later I'll be on server again. But today is a very special day for MJ. Because it is... It is the birthday of a very specific person. Not MJ. <laughs> I don't know when her birthday is. I haven't picked a day. It is Beckwith's birthday. And it's actually Vantilli's. Is it Vantilli? I'm sure it's Vantilli's. His birthday as well. So. I'm, I'm figuring out presents. Because I want to get more than one. MJ wants to get him more than one. Because Beckwith is... One of two of MJ's boyfriends. What do you mean? How do you know? News number 10. On the road, she was bothering uh, my ex-husband. <laughs> oh, but ex I think that was a while ago. Oh no, oh, no my ex-husband. How dare she bother him? That they have. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she says around 11.45 she has to go uh, take a quick nap and stuff or for some stuff. Damn so that it. would be in like six hours? Five hours? There you go. Oh. Maybe today's a little, a little busy, but I, I, we could still do it though. So I told her, we're fun I'm finally done fishing. We're in Blackwater. I said, shall we come to Rhodes? Because actually, if we go to Rhodes, we can go to from uh, here to Strawberry, then Strawberry to Rhodes, meet up with Faye, and I can get my, my fishing stuff safely, unless you really want to go to um, Tall Trees. Uh, actually, no, maybe I I'll tell her to come better. to Tall Trees. You want to go to, no, uh, no, no. go to Rhodes? Let's go to Rhodes. All right. All right, um, I'll say Doctor and I are going to head to Rhodes right now. Plus, I can show you where the, the, the raspberries are. All right. Is there anyone else? I need to telegram back to Lavinia Spreaks. Uh. Calvinia Spriggs, I feel like I should mention, is one of the people working for the oil fields that wants to buy the ranch. I know that technically it can't happen just due to the restrictions in game, but I love the conflict. It's not it's not actually causing any issues, it's just creating neat back and forth. And MJ is kind of befriending them. Because their boss, uh, Mr. Gardner, who is played by a fucking Coca-Cola, who plays Ruben Roberts of the Pentum Gang. He's their boss. He, he's a dick to them. It's 
one is slowly gaining the trust of those he works with so I can steal them away so he has less people to pressure her into setting the ranch. His characters are such little shits that plague my very fucking existence. There isn't a single Coca-Cola character that hasn't plagued me in some way. <laughs> and I say that. say that endearingly. <laughs> Okay, I need to remember. Okay. Oh, wait, I know exactly who this is. Okay. Did I get a telegram from Matt? I think I got a telegram from Matt. <laughs> they 
and gave me the horse from a wagon. So many fucking letters. Too many letters. It's because I got. I need to get another document folder and keep it at home so I can have some that's like older notes and I can have some that's like, hey, if someone grabs this off of MJ, this could, this could be trouble for her. moment however I need to I need to either go fishing or do some milk running. I might go fishing because I think I've got I've got the supplies to go fishing. I don't get to go fishing all that often. Milk runs are nice but done them so often that I don't want to just have that be what MJ does through more relaxing streams. We're gonna... What did I want to get? Uh, I need a knife. I could... Uh, I could go to Ansberg or Armadillo and get one of the SCTA knives. I don't need a knife right now. I have that's especially heavy. The lantern's heavy. I also have this. I'm hoping, like, one day in the future, because because we've got the document folders and those are great. But I've got characters that have a lot of books. Oh. Sorry. I've got characters that got a lot of books. So I'd like like a book binder item that obviously won't hold as many books as this. Maybe holds four. Hey, MJ's not as poor as I think she is. She also got gifted that ages ago. This I need to give back to Clementine. This I want to get rid of because she's she's basically never gonna use this. She's basically never gonna use this fucking shotgun. If I ever have that, it's just gonna be for the sake of having it robbed off of me, and I like having the sentimental guns robbed off. Zena gets LP with the whole fact I want to get it back. 
in a normal way, not in the void Kerrigan I'm gonna accidentally get myself killed. <laughs> This gun, though, this gun upsets me. Because I got it from the law because my other gun got stolen and it's etched with SCSD, Civilian Return. There's not a label on it that says that, it's etched. So I can never name this gun. I can never, I can never call it something fucking stupid. Planning to do. I want MJ to give Beckwith a birthday present, at least one. And the thing I'm focusing on is this pocket watch. It's like a sentimental thing for MJ. She's had it a very long time, it means a lot to her. And I could put in a lot of money to try and make him a gun, but he's a sheriff. He's got sheriff money. He can make his gun look however he wants. I kind of know it's the, the thought and the time put into it, but he has the advantage when it comes to <laughs> putting together guns. I'm not gonna have MJ, I'm not gonna grind for like the next five hours to make a pistol look somewhat okay. Yeah, like 16. sense because someone's always going to try to kill you so having having the money to pay those medical bills and get you different weapons and stuff isn't it but mj she, like she doesn't have the smallest paycheck because she's a conductor so she has five dollars but he's got more than triple what she's got like i'm not fucking <laughs> it's why I'm also hoping eventually like things like the pocket watch, like the jewelry box, different different stuff that you can't stack, I hope eventually can be etched. Like a tackle box. You can put a label on it, but someone can just take that off. from the heart means much more but sometimes people make guns and they mean it from the heart like i was thinking of putting together a pistol or something for him and then i thought eh, i'm probably one i'm not gonna have time two if he wants one he can put one together whenever he wants he has that option whenever oh, i guess you could say that about the other stuff it's I want to get rid of this fucking fire, so we're putting it here. Hello, come rob me. Let's see if the fish like me today. I should send that out.
okay I was talking and I didn't realize I was muted I'm very smart MJ was just meant to wear skirts in the beginning she was actually designed uh, with the slim uh, the average body type because that's all people could see and then within a week of making her the other body types were visible so I just remade her Funny thing is, so many, so few people notice that she has like the scar that's like between the eyebrows. It's meant to be a huge part of her design. I was gonna put it in like a condition, but she already has a few conditions. So I don't want to just add too many. God, I I love the corsets. I just wanted to make more babes. How much am I getting? Okay, it's not The only thing is our inventory is super full, but that's because our storage and our bank is pretty full as well. We can do we can do short fishing trips. We don't have to have them super long fishing trips. Uh, hello, Haxi. I sent you a telegram. Jay, you need your jacket on, you're gonna fucking freeze. But I gotta put the fish away first. few things I've got to do. I've got to go pick some sticks because I have some leftover flint that I was given by someone a while back. I can just make some torches and sell those. Because MJ's not going to do shit with flint. He's actually a... Uh, she's... kind of scared of being in a cave or a mine. So she's not going to go mining herself. She's unsure why she's scared of being in a cave full mine, but it's probably something to do with the fact she was found. Like when she started remembering things, she was found in the uh, creepy basement just outside uh, Valentine. to look at you, I didn't want to hurt you. Yeah, she was found in the murder basement. That's, that's MJ's first memory is being in the... Which I'm sure isn't traumatic in any kind of way. I'm sure it's perfect.
Maybe one day I'll be able to delve into their backstory. Just finding the right one. This MJ has a lot of stuff going on already. She has a lot, but also not. Like, MJ doesn't know that Teddy got arrested recently. She has no idea that. No one's told her anything. I know, she does. Taxi. Okay. Up work is okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be around as Jojo because MJ's gonna be celebrating Beckler's birthday with him. He's about take care. Now it's very free. Yeah, this is a Belgian draft. MJ had another one, but it was killed by uh, Duncan Murphy and Ruben Roberts of the Ten Ton Gang. And she was gifted this one by uh, Thomas Callahan, who broke up with MJ over Telegram before that. So she has very mixed feelings towards him. Like she has smaller horses. But I feel like the Belgian Draft is a very good horse for MJ. Like it's not it's not it's not Shire size. It's reasonable, it's a big horse. If she's on too small of a horse, she looks silly. Actually I wonder how close it is to being the size of a Shire. suits MJ a lot. The only character I have that really suits an Arabian, which is the smallest horse, is Itukawa, because she is four foot ten. She's very small, so it makes sense. What fish can I get here, huh? I don't go fishing much as characters. Oh wait, I don't know. They're really, really big. My grandparents used to have a horse, and he was a very big horse, and his name was Bob. I know that Bob, when he was younger, was kind of a dick. But that's okay. Oh, that's a snake. That's not a fish. I 
I have very limited knowledge of horses. Which is funny because that's partially part of the reason why MJ has amnesia is because I wanted to learn about horses in character because she's meant to run a horse ranch. But I know nothing. And I'm bad at retaining information if I just read up on it and then go straight into game. Reformed like it's a fucking crime. I imagine it can be a pretty rough environment. I had a friend in college. Like this this is different to what I'm guessing that you're saying. It's more like a clicky environment thing is probably what I'm assuming you're talking about, like socially. But I had a friend in college who used to do horse riding. And then she she fell off a horse once and her back was just permanently fucked. She just had back problems continuously from then on. It's just like, huh, it's that easy, huh? It's that easy to just completely fuck over your spine for the rest of your life. Yeah. Do you mean socially or like physically? Or both? Okay. I swear to fucking god, wish. I've seen several of you. Just trying to get a little bit of money together. I'm just a poor woman. I don't know. I don't even see. Welcome to fishing with MJ McFarlane, but the fish should be dead. So we got, we had a bunch of our, like the first wave of emotes uploaded and they got it approved. Probably Sam. But I, I cleaned up one of the emotes and made it a little animated one. So that one has been resubmitted so I need to wait for that to get approved again. And we have a little Dr. Morgan one with a knife that I'm waiting for approval. Because I needed a Dr. Morgan one. I want to make one of MJ flexing. But... Going back to the other spot. Let's get rid of the fishing rod. Oh no, that doesn't work anymore. I wanted to make one of MJ flexing, but... The sketch I did, I liked, but I didn't like how it looked when outlined and coloured in, so I need to readjust it. Back to the fucking drawing board. Literally, I 
actually, not like in a pun way. But before I do that, I've got a... I've been working on a lot of commissions lately, which is good. While I play Call of Cthulhu today, I'm planning on outlining like five emotes that I've made. <laughs> Kill it. Oh, it's still alive. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, take the muskrat. I know it's worth a fair bit of money, but MJ wouldn't really hunt it. Like, it's not quite. Not just really something that she'd think would. A lot, to be honest. A bit horsey. I like seeing the turtle because it reminds me of. Uh, it reminds me of my little tortoise. Care if you're a fucking blue girl, but you're not, which is better. I wanted to get a rescue tortoise, like one that needed rehoming that was a bit older. But I found one nearby that needed rehoming that was like 11 months old. And I really liked them, and it was affordable and had a bunch of the things that I needed. Like the tortoise table with them as well. Like it was it was just it just worked out the best for me at the time. And I'm glad I got them. Even though when I let them walk around on my floor they sometimes poop onto my bed and I need to clean that up, but I'm, I'm glad I got it. I got them like a month or so after the... Uh, oh, it's just so fucking... Just, I got them like a month or so after the our dog in the house passed away, and I realized very quickly I do not do well in a house with no pet. Like the comfort and reassurance of a pet is something that I think I need. As someone who's very laid back, I've always wanted a tortoise.
See, I like cats, but I'm allergic. Cats are good, they just... they make my lungs itch from the inside. About to be over encumbered. Yeah. Okay. What can I do to fix this? There we go. Okay. Lantern on the hip, which is a bit weird, but we're coping with it for the sake of not riding super fucking slowly back to town. I could get the turtle and take it back to town as well, but I just said it made me think of my tortoise. I'm not gonna fucking kill it. Oh my god, this is a lot of wild horses. <gasps> a Nakoda? Ooh. Nakodas are fucking good horses. Yeah, we just had the one. I don't know, eventually? We'll, we'll get another one, but we moved in January. We are not anywhere near emotionally or financially safe. But we'll probably go for another Rottweiler. We have a theme of Rottweilers. They're big lovely dogs. See, the dream I have is, when I'm older, if I have, like, money together and, of course, financially stable, hopefully more than that, like, financially very comfortable, I would love to, like, adopt older dogs. Like, it's gonna be very sad a lot of the time, but... I look after older dogs, I think it'd be nice. Three Roddies. And two of them were from the Rottweiler Welfare Association over here. We have one, he was a puppy, but he had so many issues when we found him. He had fleas, I think he had worms. Like he he was essentially a rescue. sad when you read stuff about dogs and it's like, hey, this dog's been here for like a year or several years at this at this uh, shelter or whatever and you're like, oh that's a really fucking long time, especially for a dog at the minute I just have Ludo, my little tortoise and stuff. I think they're doing good. They're not going to get too big because they're a, like a Russian tortoise or horse field tortoise. They're not going to get too big. I could 
Eh, no, Ludo wouldn't like a little cat. They're very... They don't like anything being near their head, which makes sense. Be a horse vacation beach. Ludo, we're unsure of the gender right. Ah, turtle. We're unsure of the gender right now. I'm leaning towards saying they're probably a girl because the bottom of their shell is basically completely flat, but I know I'd probably need to go to a vet to be certain. Over here too, not just down there. Do I have to fish here now. That seems like a good fish. No, I don't get spooked. about it? You're thinking about it? Oh. It's completely fine. Everything's good. It's just taking time to consider. It's nervous. It's shy. But you're there. I can see you considering. good but at the same time it's it's very similar to just having the well, I'm curious what different items they're gonna add in the future because I know there's obviously a priority on different things like there's gonna be the news report it's gonna be news reporter stuff added Think about it. Come on. Ow. Is that a person? I think that's a person up there. Come on. A little bit more of you. Come on. Come on. You'd rather nearly go onto the fucking ground. Let me see if I can just... Now there's fish over here, good. <laughs> MJ was shown this spot by Koina. Now she, she uses it a fair bit. It's peaceful. Relaxing. Shh. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, trap, trap's good. Anything's better than bluegill, but I'm not gonna chuck the bluegill just, just because. Yeah. Money. I know that most people who do fishing in server have an immense hatred for the bluegill, and I find it very funny. Gotta have at least one invasive species of fish. It attacks everywhere. <laughs> you can fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's fine. Everything's calm. I'm going over here. I never claimed to be a good fisherwoman, a fisher person. I wait patiently, maybe my patience would be rewarded. Come on. Come on. Please. Please. I caught one. And by caught, I mean it swam onto land and died. And I picked it up. I don't think that counts as me catching it. Come on. Did my law fall off? Is there a problem? No, I still have my law. Okay. Everything's calm. Wait, which one? Did another one go to shore that I didn't notice? Or did it just get close? That's ominous. Come on, you. You specifically fish. Heading in the right direction. It's perfect. Ow. Are larger fish worth catching? Not today. <laughs> MJ's meant to be a fairly patient person. 
but I'm at this moment I'm not. And now, God, that Nakoda comes here a fair bit, I guess. I was seeing if there was a little muskrat. I'm not too sure. I haven't done the fishing in game for a long while. Like, this fishing is MJ, is the most I've done in ages. Like, I used to fish as my first character way back when you could stack fish more easily in your inventory and things like that. Never confined to much more specific spots. For some meeting. Like the little the little pond outside Rhodes. Like to the western western side of Rhodes, I think. I used to fish there a lot as my first character because there were specific like small fish you could catch there that were worth a fair amount. And you could stack like they they'd stack in twos in your inventory and they didn't weigh much. But obviously that entire system has been redone like five or so times, if not way more, since the first few months of the server. <laughs> it's been like what, three years? Some that were just good money. Three dollars! To be fair, that was a fish that literally just swam up and fucking died. That makes sense. That at the very least out of everything makes sense. So, plan, give this to Beckwith. I need to put a label on. I need to think of something nice to put on there. But I have to use a label. I need to, I need to think of something that can be done with a label, because I can't etch. <gasps> Boba. Hello. How's it going, Baba? Okay, we have a fair amount of money. We're gonna get twenty-five. I know that's more than what you need, but I have a reason. A reason for getting that many bottles of milk. On a different note, MJ is a uh... she's dealing with some of her relationship issues. She's she's gradually becoming less scared of certain little aspects like commitment stuff and 
it's interesting to see because I didn't think that she would get to that point for a very long time. I mean, it's been like a year, so that makes sense. Actually, it's been it's been a year. It feels like not a long amount of time, but it's been actual months. clouds. But yes, MJ the other day she like cause because Revenant had said it. Revenant called her his girlfriend a few days ago. Revenant's also seeing uh Indigo, Indy. He's a uh, He's a lovely little guy that MJ doesn't get along with for certain reasons. <laughs> the day after, MJ referred to Revenant as her boyfriend, which isn't something that I thought would happen. It's still not exclusive, like MJ now so considers Beckwith her boyfriend as well. But she's becoming more comfortable with the fact that she's actually close to them. And it's not just flings and stuff. Exactly. MJ's comfortable with like this guy. Like she has Renjin and someone else old character that she's talking to and she's not sure Benjin quite gets what she meant like it he was speaking about it as if it's like oh I need to I need to be better than the others and she's trying to make it clear hey it's not a competition not a competition I have Time for plenty of people. As someone who's poly, it's interesting seeing MJ gradually understand that that might be what she is and she doesn't just not want commitment ever. Rifle ammo got stolen off me by the G. Oh, Monster Lover 242. I didn't mean to laugh, it's just I wasn't expecting the name. Welcome. does have to come home to kill the cat. Like, MJ would be less pissy at the cougar if she didn't have a baby. If she wants to be like, I want my I want my daughter to be able to play in the backyard. If MJ's daughter eventually starts playing in the backyard, she's gonna get mauled. We have a cougar kill count page. In a journal. There's actually corn back there, and I find it really funny because it's a little cornfield, but you can only pick up one bit of corn. <laughs> it's just one spot that's growing right, every other bit is shit. <laughs> Come here, Silverton, which is not the name that she gave the horse. It's uh, what Thomas already named the horse, but she didn't want to. She didn't want to change it. So you're coming with me. Okay. 
so of course we can do milk delivery. But I added this. And I need to put one of these in here because I'm going to start filling this up again. But it's a bottle crate for spare bottles. Just in case people forget them, like some people come to do the milk run and they forget to buy the bottles. Or they have spare ones or something. So I've just made this crate to like help out those that are doing the milk runs. Like MJ's way of giving back to those that are technically giving her money. Or doing work for her, I guess. Yeah, the cuckoos can be weird. The fact that there's ones up there is... Hey! Got a little job for ya. Thank you, cuckoo. <laughs> Wait, actually, you're ready. <laughs> now we're gonna head to town at a reasonable pace. I don't want the horse to be super behind, and I just don't like the idea of speeding around. <laughs> also, I know the Belgian giraffes are like really ridiculously strong, but I was reminded recently just how strong they are because there's a video of like about either 20 or just under 20 men like between, between 10 and 20 men like in a game of tug of war with a single like draft horse they didn't stand a fucking chance they didn't stand a chance they were being pulled around so easily By the way, I don't know who saw the uh, train robbery yesterday. I know Raddy was streaming it, Vertigo was streaming it, I think David B was streaming it, uh, Suddenly Pandas was streaming it. It was so fun. I'm sad that I crashed. And I knew that they couldn't... I know, I know that some people wanted to stop the train for, for me, but I know that it would have been a pain given that we all were catching up with it. There's a bunch of issues. But also, I, it, it, the fact I crashed led to me finding Diego downed at Wallace Station, so I don't mind. <laughs> Stopped him from waiting like an hour for help, considering Law got shot at a bunch during the entire thing. Also, of course, MJ's gonna be scared and she's gonna comply, but I love Hart saying, like, trying to bargain for MJ for her safety and saying, I'm worth more than she is. MJ just being like, wow, like in the, mi in the middle of a train robbery, still getting a little bit offended. Just a little bit. But she knows that Hart wouldn't have meant that in like me. Who's trying to help her? MJ and Hart have like a good friendship, I feel like. They actually used to hang out a lot when she first was around. They hung about a bit and he actually was the person who offered to go with her and did go with her back to the Valentine murder basement where she was found to try and help poke her memory. I'm, I'm glad that we had, like, Fables as her banker. I don't remember the banker's name, because I heard it said once. She was always, of course, meant to be there 
the sake of having notes that could get stolen to hint towards what's the, the next job that's coming up. But the fact that she was there also helped with the whole safe being broken. Which eventually will get those things. Safety, staff team, with all of their patience, all of their <laughs> wonderful patience for our many requests and suggestions. Just two horses, but it sounds like more. Probably because I've got this little milk wagon. MJ adores Harp. He's he's gave us some terrible fucking ideas for horse names. And elaborated on them far too much. What do you mean go on them? No, there's clips in my Discord. There's clips. If I explain it, it's not as funny. <laughs> Let me see if does this still work? Yeah, it does. I also have one of those for each character. I've got uh, chat commands for each character, I've got chat commands for the tribes, the different groups that the characters of mine are in. God. Sorry. <laughs> Nearly hit a motherfucking earthquake because I didn't want to hit my horse. They're very small. They're like scuttling about. Again, don't know if they're a boy or a girl, so I'm just using they, them. I know that a tortoise isn't gonna care. A tortoise isn't gonna give a shit. But I find it funny because people get so confused when I say, when I use they, them. Especially like in personal family, they're like, oh, do you have multiple? And it's like, no. Just turn out there, boy or girl, and they'll default to he or she still. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait, I don't have a knife! It's got a nice shell. I need to. They, they have a tendency to not really eat their food if I put a little sprinkle of calcium powder stuff onto it. Which is bad because they need that. They need the supplement stuff. So I'll see if I can figure out a different thing. They've got like a calcium whatever thingy block in there as well, but they don't really do anything with it. The main things they do at the moment is burrow and poop. Or, yeah, burrow. Yeah, they like to scratch in the corners of their toilet table to get comfy. Or when they want to come out. Depends on their mood. Ludo. I think the thing I feel sad about is the the people that sold me Ludo, like they they didn't want to get rid of them, which is I had to because they were planning on moving. They could they had two tortoises they could only bring one with them. Now they're trying to sell their other one, but I don't have the space or the money for it. The other one's called Cookie. 
It's just like, I wish I could take this, and I would in a heartbeat, but I, I really can't. I do not have the kind of money and space for two tortoises, because you can't keep them together, because they will attack each other. Two tortoises, especially different types, very solitary. I need to find some sticks. I wish at some point, and not not anytime soon. Yeah, maybe I'm a tortoise too. Though I don't really like vegetables and fruits or that much. Like, I like very few because of the textures, so. <laughs> I don't know, I think I do bad. Actually, wait, my, a lot of tortoises are carnivorous. Like, a lot of tortoises can eat meat. Which just feels like, which feels fucked up. Feels like it shouldn't be possible, just because of what I know about tortoises. <laughs> the assumptions I've made Regarding tortoises in my life. Can I get sticks? Sticks. 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 No, fuck. Oh, you got. Oh, smart horse. gonna get hit by you. Okay, there's something I need to do quickly. I need to get MJ to grab something from the game. Oh, there Because we're gonna do one of MJ's traditions. Funny thing is, like, I have so many recordings to go through because I was recording, I was recording RP be before I before I made JoJo. <gasps> Hello. Hello, welcome. MD Mums. I like when people, like it's so rare for people to not realise I'm a character because I barely change my voice, I'm not good at doing different voices, that I adore it when it happens, <laughs> the rare times it happens. Jojo was a polarising character for you? Really? Jojo was my, or is, my little rat idiot. <laughs> and I say rat just because she's like a little goblin creature. She doesn't actually rat the law. Hmm, is it stolen from the general store or stolen SESD? Yeah, I was recording RP before I made Jojo. Like, I have the creation of Jojo. Like, me putting her together. Because I'd already made her and then I needed to adjust something. Because her original outfit was a bit fucked. Like, her ankles or something didn't exist. So I remade her and I recorded that. She's 
unexpected. Hmm. I didn't see Jojo as being very predictable. But that's because I make all the Jojo's choices. <laughs> yeah, that was a big turning point for Jojo because she had never done that. She typically had her gun unloaded most of the time. There was a situation where I, I wish I wish I'd tackled her instead. Of something else. I wish I hadn't just shot her down. But one that happened ages ago can't exactly change it now. Two, it kind of made sense for the panic JoJo was in at the idea of LJ getting hurt. Like it's 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 good to have a character make mistakes, and I know that Sarah obviously she didn't perma Ripley from that. She permed her to something sick later on. Ah, to have coffee with four dead people. <laughs> but damn it, I can't sip the coffee because I. Okay. MJ comes here a lot to think, though. And I think that's nice. I think it's interesting, especially since her and Boyd. Like, they would. I think they were good friends, but they weren't obviously like the closest to each other. Arita? Arita? Wait, it's, there's a T at the end. Just, just a smidge of time. Just, just a sprinkle. As a treat. Hello, deranged Dalton. We have Boyd. We got Baz. We got Danny. Please tell me how to pronounce it because I didn't. I didn't focus on the T at the end. If you tell me how to pronounce it, I will stick with that. Is, is that how it's said? There's no way that's how it's said. Okay, you, you just typed the same thing, but that doesn't help me figure out. <laughs> Pronunciation. At all. Write it how it sounds. <laughs> Like, is it R? R tut? R, R <laughs> You wouldn't believe that I got a B in GCSE English, would you, if you heard me speaking now? <laughs> Eritat. Eritat? To be fair... Like, someone has before literally said Shamu instead of Shmu, so I feel like you could have it worse. <laughs> like, it could be a worse situation. Ah, uh, do I have a little bit of coffee? 
rest in ears. Hello, Kirby. Take it easy. Thank you for hopping in. I'm figuring out what to do as MJ today because it's news. Ah, oh, fair. Some people, because it's it's typically shmoo, but then they see the J. So pe some people are like shmoo J. It's like no, you can just say shmooj. And people add a C to it all the fucking time, which isn't that big of an issue. I just wonder why it happens so consistently. There's never been a C in the name. <laughs> I had a C, like, between the H and the M, between the S and the H, typically between the H and the M. That's that's the usual spot, okay. Yeah, that's how people... That's how people spell it. This gun. Okay, never mind. It's between the S and the H typically, but people people mix it up depending on their mood. Also got shoe once or twice. Is that the oh that's the chimneys of the other house. I was like, what the fuck? The thing is, the J is only there because Shmoo was already taken on Twitch. Shmoo's Shmoo been my nickname since I was a baby. It's a nickname my dad gave me. And uh, the reason I added the J is because his nickname, like stuff he's used for World of Warcraft and a bunch of other things, is Jid. And he got me my, f he, like he set up my first Steam account, so I was like, okay, I'll add the J from his name onto the end. It's a little bit of credit to my dad. Why the Shmooji? Because Shmoojid sounded odd. And now there's the law. No, just Shmoo. I refuse that. But the reason. reason I had the nickname of a shmoo or a shmoo when I was very very little it's because it's a illustrated creature that uh, eats everything it sees and I was a very greedy little baby I still love food so it's still accurate and my dad still calls me shmoo like I feel like he's called me shmoo more than my actual name during my life yeah, it is. Okay, I don't know why I came back here. I know that I didn't get any Nintendo. I am from the southeast. It is a weird pear shaped thing. That is what I'm named after. I'm from the southeast. My dad is more countryside. My mom's like, from London. I have a strange little combination. Also, I stayed home a lot when I was little. So I didn't really... I just kept the mixture of their accents. I didn't get a mixture of, like, maybe a little bit from school and stuff. But most of it's just from them. It can be strange sometimes, but I'm biased because it's mine. <laughs> C 
comforting. Did nobody sank like to you? I want to have a character. I want to have characters with heavier accents. Like, we go over my characters. A lot of them have British parents because I had to have a reason why I sound like this. MJ doesn't. MJ is was born a Caliger Hall. She's she's been asked if she's. She has been asked if she's British that much. She's been asked more if she's from Australia or New Zealand, which I don't get. It's just people that aren't Australian from like New Zealand that have asked her this. But like Itakala, her mother's British. She was raised in England. Uh, Dr. Morgan, her father's British, but she was raised in Ansberg, or Ansberg and then St. Uh, who else? Todd, Todd, mother's British. Father, no idea. Father, don't need to know. Abs. Really? Jojo, Jojo's mother is like, I'd say Jojo's mother's oh, captain was, was British, but father still unknown, because with Jojo, anyone can still be her dad if they fit the very vague criteria. And I know of two people, including Captain Henderson, who could be Jojo's dad, but Jojo only knows of one, and the number can always increase. I find that really fucking funny. Like, if Jojo mentions the story to anyone, or anyone hears about it, and they just message me like, hey, can I be one of the options? I'd be like, sure, fuck it, yeah, why not? Go for it. The point is that, the point is that it could be anyone. Jojo's only criteria is has to have been in the crossing a little over 20 years ago. Uh, was around a dockside town. Met I'm saying with this with fucking air quotation marks. Met her mother and had the right equipment. Which I, th I think we all know what that means. Because Jojo could have like a trans mum character out there instead. Wombats. Some one bags. You just have a character that fits that criteria, and JoJo's your kid. No, oh, wait. You can be one of the mothers, but one of them is incredibly dead. <laughs> no one has asked Big L if if Kono if Kono agreed to that. Brandy. If Kono agreed to that, that would be the funniest fucking thing. But I don't, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think Big L would have slept with a, well, I mean, I don't know if he would have met a mean pirate lady, like, a little over 20 years ago. Wait, I need my Press E instead of space. But like, again, anyone can fucking agree to it. Did it die? Die?
We're gonna check over here. No, oh, it didn't. Oh, wait, it did. <laughs> it's just at a really awkward angle. Ow. Did she get a scratch on her face from that? Yeah, she got blood on her. Because if you jump from a certain distance, you really... <laughs> you really hurt. <laughs> Another to the collection. But yeah, I love that the criteria for Jojo's dad is so vague. Like... At one point me and Erica joked about, hey, Revenant could technically be Jojo's dad. But then we thought about it more and it's like, no. MJ is dating Revenant, that'd be weird. I'm not having- we're not having one character, like, date Rev and the other possibly be his child. I don't like that. <laughs> and Erica didn't like that either, she agrees it's too much. No, I refuse- Plus Jojo's very weirded out by Revenant, because she- sees Revenant similarly to the Blood Witch. But she only knows about the torture stuff. A Google counter. Oops. Yeah, in her last journal she had like rows and rows of the strikes. But then she had to get a new one to continue the counter. And she got the new one she got the old one back, but I can't be bothered to keep writing in it because I've got this new one and it's done more neatly. Like, do you have any idea how many characters fit the criteria for Jojo's dad? So many. Like, fucking Stump could fit the criteria to be Jojo's dad. Fucking... I don't know how old Marty Malone is. Marty might be a bit too young. Like, Henderson's like... In his... 40s. So he, he, he counts. Like, you, you've got to be at least 36. Or 38. 38. Because Jojo is... She, she counts herself as like 20 years old. She doesn't know when her birthday is, so she just celebrates with her. How old is Marty? At least 38. Like MJ MJ's old enough to be Jojo's parent. Marty's 45? I mean he's if that actually does make sense for Marty, but I just I always saw him as a bit younger. Maybe because I, I remember when he was a cadet. He was a cadet and he was telling Itakata a story, but Itakata was like really drained because she was injured, just sitting on the porch, so she half took it in. I feel bad. Because <laughs> I wanted to be intrigued, but Itakata was so injured. <laughs> We're getting together a little bit of money so I can see if I can get some extra presents for Beckwith because it's Beckwith for Pantuvius's fucking birthday. Oh shit, I ran out of tea. Wait, I have I have a can of Rubicon. <laughs> fucking I opened yesterday. <laughs> How dare you say this to me? How dare you say such sweet things? Let me, let me, <laughs> let me grab the can. Listen, it's okay. It's not, it's, it's okay to drink a canned drink. 
day after you open it, so... I'm in the middle of a milk run, I'm not going downstairs. Yes, it could always be worse. But now... God, I've had so much character stuff. I've, I've been hopping on a lot and not streaming, just because I... I felt like not enough is going on with my characters to stream. I keep forgetting, hey, I can just vibe and it'll be fine. Just check. I'm gonna see if my, my spine's gonna crack again. Yeah, very bad. I worry about having streams be too short as well sometimes if I just want to pop on and check telegrams but then something happens and I'm like eh, I'm not going to be too on too long after this thing happens so I still won't start it because it will be like an hour at most and then more happens and the cycle continues Is being, I need to meet, I haven't met August or Abraham Gray yet, and I need to. And I have like, I have the full Gray family tree, but it's got some spoilers in it. So I'm not going to share that just yet. I probably need to make a version that's a bit covered at section. Do you need to make MJ a Gorma outfit? That is something I need to do at some point. Because she, MJ can't go to Gorma for at least like a month. Because she has her baby. She cannot she cannot spend several days in Gorma without feeding the baby. Like, and I'm gonna say Rosie starts eating solid food like middle of next month or at the end. Even though I could just I could just say it's like within because time is strange and pregnancy does it like what two months technically but in game it would have been like quite a long long time the problem with making Gorma outfit is that with pants and with these pants and this corset which is a combination I love so so much it needs chaps to like. Let me let me see what it's like about the chaps. I think it clips like yeah, it clips. So I would need chaps, but I don't want her to be boiling. I don't want her to be burning too crispy. Oh god, I have so many fucking this. I adore still. And I didn't get to wear it around Christmas because that's when I benched MJ. Safe cover for the train. Yeah, this one I'm keeping just in case. Because if I go to Coulter, I can like use this. Her original outfit is this. Like she was meant to just wear skirts and stuff. That was the original intention. But then, pff, things changed, you know? <laughs> but 
but her original outfit is still pretty She's just got the black corset for if someone dies. I'm not getting rid of this. I'm not getting rid of this. Because at some point, Riley is going to permutate he just, just, just because he's Riley. So I can't get rid of it. No, eventually it's going to be useful again. Yeah, it's a morning corset. It's just because she's what she usually wears. This was... Just after, she wears it sometimes to be comfy. This was just after she had Rosie. She needed something a bit comfier. Oh yeah, MJ has reading glasses she sometimes wears. Basically no one ever sees them. Ah, busy beans. What we need to do is adjust this outfit for Gorma. Just a bit. Otherwise, she's gonna boil and burn to a fucking creep. No, that's worse. Cause, Cause look, without it, Eclipse. But I really like these pants. But I don't think... Okay, firstly, are these just the ones I was wearing anyway? No, that clips. Just chips. I might not be able to... Wait, let me... You know what? Let's see what the other colours do. Let's get the lightest colour. See, even that's clipping. Like, people don't notice it most of the time because I made them both black, but, like, these clip a ton. Hello, OP. Welcome to making Gorma outfit sucks. I could give her different pants. I could give her different pants and solve the entire issue. I might need to do that. God fucking damn it. I just... <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's, let's start at the beginning. Let's not give her the fuzziest fucking boots that ever existed. Yeah, there's some nice pink ones. Could always go as a floating head. Just as a treat. Ooh, but the pink doesn't Match. Fuck. The fucking pink bullshit. Just, I just want some nice boots. Good shoes. These ones got like an eagle on the side. I don't want to give her like oh, hello, Captain J. I don't want to give her like ridiculous boots because she's gonna be in Gorma in like a month. That's what this outfit is for. It's for Gorma. It's for hotter environment. I haven't even picked out her pants. So I don't know why I'm going for shoes. It's in a hotter environment. just little boots. You know what, let's see what pants there are. She's going to, she'll probably go in like a month or so. Yeah. Oh, those are plain enough that it's okay. She'll, she'll go in like a month or so because she at some point wants to go over with Revenant to get a look at the fucking place. See, these pants are good. I could just have her. I could. Uh, I don't want to do that. I just wish those specific pants that I really like didn't fucking. 
clip as much as I do. The only thing is, if I I can't give her because here, yeah, there's the leather pants. Three in the morning. The leather pants is very similar to Doctor Morgan, so I don't want to have it match exactly. Could do the skirt. Like the skirt isn't a bad shout. Yeah. They've got tassel. No. Oh, I don't mind the tassel. It's the fact that they're gonna be super fucking warm and warmer. For those wondering, you can tell why I'm focusing on the back. Cause look at this. Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> Peak character Am I just gonna have to? God, am I just gonna have to have a wear fucking chaps and Guoma? She'll probably be fine. I mean, she's got a lot of breathing room. Hello, friendly chick. Welcome to making Guoma outfit is a fucking bite. You know what? I'm sure I wish to cancel ca character. Outfit creation. This, if I need to, will be fine for Gorma. This, I just won't wear the gloves and stuff. This is fine. I can cope with this. It's dark now. That's how long I was checking stuff out. Hello? Take it easy. Island outfits are tough, especially when MJ has specific criteria. Like, she needs the pink corset. It is a trademark of who she is. Did I have a telegram notification? Fuck, I forgot to sell the coupon. Oh, I'll just give it. I don't know if I had a telegram notification, but I'm going to check anyway. Just in case, because I did send off a bunch of telegrams. <laughs> The fact that I've that these chaps work with these pants saves this outfit, otherwise I won't be able to have these pants with this corset at all. This won't be possible. And these pants and this corset together combined have so much oh, I didn't have a telegram notification. <laughs> they have so much power. So much presence. Oh, this is gonna have to change because they're not together anymore. But MJ doesn't know that yet. Uh, my boss, no longer my boss, but you know, it's still counting. I'm back with deputy. <laughs> I'll be out on a hunting trip. I like just not changing. The descriptions, because it reminds me of what it was like when I met them. Oh, Carter. Sheriff Carter, you dead, dead fuck. I would love, like, those those lovely ladies that work in the parlor houses and such. Love to have their dresses. Boy, it's funny to you. Boyd, deputy, cute and rugged. It's even funny when Boyd's only description for MJ and his fucking telegram notification, like telegram thingy, was big. And that was it. How 
how would you say how would you say that the father of your baby described you? Well he well big. <laughs> For MJ's description uh, God don't be alone. For MJ's description in the citizen registry. I'm pretty sure Boyd did this, or is the reason for this. I don't know what is listed as MJ's defining features. have a cause that's what it was listed as the only thing that was right that's it <laughs> mj has defining features like she's got a scar on her face she's got a scar on her face she's got freckles on her face she's she's stocky like she's she's built If I had MJ like run around without her hat and with a shirt on, no one would be able to tell it was her. Maybe maybe like Revenant. Revenant and Beckwith and, and Bonnie and Teddy are guaranteed to be able to tell it's her. There's no guarantee for anyone. One day I'm just, I am just gonna have her wear a shirt and not wear pink and see how long it takes people to realise. Eventually they will. Two guns, she's always perking. Gotta say, I, I mentioned it earlier, but now there's, there's, there's more of us here. Yeah, we talk about this fucking travesty. The train, the train was robbed yesterday. Wonderful, great robbery. Glad that MJ's gone got stolen because it, it's interesting that they managed to take things because their safes were broken. So they got to take stuff from the bank teller. I can't believe that the SCSD like for guns that they want to give to civilians etched. Edged with SESD civilian return. It's not a label, it's etched. Hello, Green. Welcome to me lamenting about the fact I'll never be able to name this gun I got for free. <laughs> Complaining about the very smallest of me. <laughs> Very unfortunate. This was so funny. It's good that you can't re etch things. Like, sometimes it sucks because some people don't check and they misspell stuff. Or you accidentally get the telegram number wrong. But. SCSD, civilian return? It's a shit name. It's awful. Yeah, I'm glad they came up behind. I I I didn't want to push the fact that MJ could shoot. Like I'd like to have her to be completely focusing on. Okay, what's heart focusing on? What's love focusing on? Like, 
purposely turn your back to the main issue. <laughs> Well, it's hard to it's hard to avoid spelling something wrong if you write your name and accidentally spell your telegram wrong, which I know people have done. Accidents happen. Oh, so I don't know why we're going east. I just thought I'd explore it out. I'd explore out here a little bit. I like having MJ go to Calaga sometimes just to have a look around. Check on Houston. Make sure he's still dead. MJ knows all about accidents happening. She's got two kids. If she ever has another one, it's going to be very... Oh god, I, I don't want to think about what happens if she eventually has another one. There's no paternity tests in 1902? 1902. 1902, it's right? I haven't, I haven't mixed that up, have I? MJ would not trust any of her children to be raised by Hank, who already has so many kids he's adopted and it's not great to- Hank's actually- he left a note at MJ's house saying he wants to talk. Not the year for another kid, MJ already had a kid in January. Was it January or really early February? One of those. I think it might have been quite early February. Eh, no, it was like January. She had to do a fucking paternity test. And there's no paternity tests. No paternity tests, so what would, she, what would the last name be? <laughs> she just ignore the last names of the men she's seeing and just name them her last name? Because she's not sure who's it'd be. The, the only reason, like, one, I'd make sure to check with people that they would call that to, it would be if I seriously wanted to bench MJ again, which I immediately missed playing MJ as soon as I benched her. So I, I'm not going to do that again anytime soon for her. It'll be fairly easy to tell with the two people that MJ is seeing right now. I mean, Beckwith and Revenant look very different from each other, so I don't know. I think I think they have some very defining different features. I am. Yeah, I, I know it's a local, but I like I like talking to the locals. I used to my first characters would say howdy every time a local like walked by her. And other people be like, you're so friendly with them, which was basically just saying, I don't need you to speak with them. <laughs> just curious. Maybe, maybe, maybe in another year, maybe in another year I'll think, man, I want to bench MJ. And maybe I'll get permission from one or both of the people. <laughs> be like, hey, I could be a possible option. Which would be really funny. 
I think it'd be really fun. That's, that's like a ventral. MJ's already got two kids. One of them's in server, so. A little Kubi task force, is it yet? No, I was hoping to find the poodle. I wanted to pet it. I mean, Rosie does need some free. <laughs> Though I, I play like the milkmaids, some of them have kids, which is why MJ is fine with leaving Rosie with the milkmaids quite a lot. One, MJ's friends with all the milkmaids, because I mean, they're, they're always around each other. I like playing the milkmaids as people, like, MJ gets upset and helps the milkmaids if they get. They get like attacked by the cougar or wolves. Just, I, I imagine there's more kids living there. Negan, Deputy Negan, his daughter, uh, Emily, used to live there. She was like eight or so. Now she lives with uh, the, uh, the mother's grandparents. Or the mother's parents, I should say. Skunky odor, look somewhat angry, scar on head, sharp musty scent, scar on right hand, weak fruity scent. <laughs> Looks slightly happy. One of you is having a fucking awful day and the other's doing great. Mr. Stinky and Mr. Happy. It's weird. MJ, like, MJ was born and raised here, and she still finds the place strange. But she doesn't remember it, obviously, with her amnesia and stuff, so... It's a, it's a very odd experience for her to come by here. Stitch on right hand, sharp savory scent, weak lemony smell. I like getting screenshots of the conditions. I like getting condition ideas. It isn't the most homey place, because it's a very like... Okay, wearing a bear claw necklace, which belonged to Beckwith, that he would wear a lot, and then he... Okay, cute story. He, he gave it to MJ, because she was like, I'll see you later. It was like, okay, I'm gonna pass this to you. Next time I see you, you'll give it back. And they were like, okay, that's sweet. And then next time, when when he came back to the ranch, he saw her with it. He was, said to her, you know what? You keep wearing it. That way, you know that I have to come back. I have to come back home. And it's like, oh, it's really sweet. And the bangle as well. It's like it's engraved with a rearing horse which was also i think that was a christmas present was it a christmas present i think it might have been a valentine's gift actually from beckwith in the condition i just i didn't want to she she used to smell of vanilla but i like the idea that she smells more why am i, why am I stopping here i don't need to get in I like the idea that she, she smells more 
foamy. So freshly baked bread seemed like a nice one. I was trying to think a nice one. Exactly. Smells, smells like a mother. I put that condition here 17 hours ago. Hi Houston, you're still dead. Just checking. I checked at the fucking church at Armadillo. There's a... Or the one near Armadillo. There's... There's McFarlane graves. Like there's a few... There's like three over there. Because obviously in the main story there are a bunch of McFarlands. Or a bunch of them that died. But they're there. Cookies and sunshine. At some point, if if one day someone plays Mr. McFarlane and that story arc happens, and there's a chance that MJ gets like divorced because she's not on good terms with her husband. She could end up coming back here. Because if she loses the McFarlane name, she's she can't she's not gonna feel like she can stay at McFarlane's. Could be cool. Though I not I know there are a lot of greys right now. So it'd be, she, like she she's coming back to visit, but she's not going to come back to stay. She's she's very attached to the ranch. God, living here. MJ's one of. I can go through some of the family tree. Let me let me get up the family tree on my phone because I'm very forgetful. It does feel like a questionable boarding school. Because MJ is like one of four kids. She's actually got she's got two older brothers and one younger sister. The eldest of the brothers is Julian Gray the second, who is the father of July Gray, Julian the third. Uh, Alistair and Bonnie in Houston and then <laughs> half past one. a little younger than uh, Julian the second is Theodore Gray uh, MJ's like slightly older brother Okay, if MJ eventually permas, I think this this is a nice grave. <laughs> I say that what a time to come in. <laughs> like that it's got flowers and we don't have like an implication for who is buried here yet. Though it'd feel strange to have it be buried so far from Houston at such a specific spot. Like if she does come back here and settle at Caligar Hall, then... No, don't throw her in the corner! She comes back here and settles at Caligar Hall, then she can be buried there. But if not, then she wants to be buried in the farm. Yeah, though, though there's a lot of... There's a lot of reoccurring names in the graves. Like, she has... she has an auntie Grey. She has, like, her grandmother is grey, but it's... or Mary. She, yeah, Auntie Mary. She's got Grandma Mary. That fucking 
slaughterhouse. Like we got, who's being played right now? We have Teddy, we have other Teddy. We got August, we got Bonnie, July maybe in the future? We got a uh, fat rip Ishmael, he's dead. <laughs> we got Cassidy, we got Darius. We got Abraham. We this there's a there's a lot of greys currently. Those are just the ones I can list that are fairly active. MJ never got to never got to meet Ishmael. I don't think she ever did, which is really sad. I think it would have been good for Ishmael to have like a supportive aunt. Oh, he's like he was like cousin once removed or something like that. The the, fa the family terms when you get to extended family are really weird. Rip <laughs> As is life in the crossing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My tortoise is scratching in their little table right now, which is a horrible noise because it's nails on wood. But I, I signed up for this noise. I'm going to hear this noise probably for the rest of my life. It's funny because we're heading in the direction of Josiah's grave, but MJ doesn't know where it is. So. Kenobi. Hello. See, I would tell my tort to stop, and I have told my tort to stop on multiple occasions, but they're... they don't listen. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want to go this way. We're going to the graveyard because I want to see if there's any McFarlane's here. I'm curious. She's got dirt on her now. He's covered in filth. So is the horse. Are you trying to get out? hear that noise, can't you? <laughs> Maybe. But they're being quiet now. I'm careful to typically mute it. Just going fucking sick on my family. Emilia. Fudges. This fudges. I thought the F was an E. Man, I love being able to read. Hello, Hex. How's it going? I'm going through the graveyard seeing if I can find any interesting names. Family. Beaumont. Carter. 
you. I'd, I'd let my tourists out and let them walk over the floor, but I don't want to have to pick them up in the middle of RP. I don't like that one. I don't have to like rummage to find them, clamber to get them from under my fucking wardrobe. They like trying to walk on my extension lead, which is bad because I don't want them getting their little foot caught in it. I think one of these is where Blue is buried. One of them is her parents and one of them is Blue. Like Dr. Blue from ages ago. Right. I know I know there was former Sheriff Disgrace fucking Right, like Brian Wright, but Revenant Wright as well. Man, I love last names that are oh, she's coming. I love last names that are common enough that a bunch of people can have them. Tortoises are just tiny little anarchists. Giroux? 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 Walters? Parker? Brewster? Any more? Nothing back here. What? The other day when I let Ludo run around, they started trying to eat my socks. Which hasn't typically happened, Alan. Gardener. Oh. Wait, no, it's spelled differently. Schmidt. This, this is where I played that a character from my character Rose's backstory was buried. Because I was like, oh, this is a peaceful little spot. And I haven't seen anyone else saying that someone's buried here. Russell? I don't know how to pronounce names. Never assume I can read under any circumstance. People that leave like notes, like this one, is a uh, Dr. Morgan's parents. Surprise! You thought I was just looking around? Well, I am, but I'm also showing you backstory. Dr. Morgan. Dr. Mo Mo Wait, Seda, did you know that Morgan's married? Morgan got married. She's not a smith anymore. Morgan married Marky. Anyway. Anyway, fortune. See. Morgan Morgan married Marquis Fraser, so she's Dr. Morgan Fraser, which means she's Dr. MF, so Dr. Motherfucker. Oh shit. Oh Ripley and Spengler. Juniper. Oh, stone. 
Stone, I'm sorry. I don't have the mental capacity to read this right now. <laughs> this was Dee Dee. This had to be Dee Dee. She always did these portraits, which is funny because she's the one that accidentally killed Jeannie. Yeah, that buried her. Yeah, Junie, Junie died in a fist fight with Dee Dee. She was already injured and I think Dee Dee like stamped on her head once or twice in the fight. Oh, another lover. That whole family is a tragedy. Oh, you think I don't see you? Mexican Hickman. I feel like I know this name, but I don't remember when from. I feel like I know Hickman. Maria Santarelli. Give me more names in the fucking gravestones. I want to see them. I know I missed over there. There's one that says Hooper, which I find funny. I love the idea of like putting characters in existing graves makes sense. There's so many. And th these are here. Why not use them? Class that basically died of a broken heart. After the fucking awful death of his wife. The incredibly traumatic and terrifying death of his wife where she fell from a hot air balloon and got splattered on the ground like a fucking stew like one of those alien toys that you get where you buy it like it's in that little plastic container that's in the shape of an egg and people throw it at a fucking wall sometimes or they stick it on a wall she she fell to the ground like he was chucking one of those at light speed at the floor <laughs> that's what i think when i think of jane ripley's death She died like a goobo. <laughs> the death rattle was great. The fact that she, the, like, being able to do the really horrific. Rivera? Rivera? She did fall from the balloon. There were, there were four of them in that balloon. Marty wasn't going to fall because he was locked in the, uh, driving position of the balloon. She's covered in death. Let me find. He will die. If if Boyd had died then if Boyd had died then, it would have been so awful because he was telling MJ like earlier in the day Oh, the hot air balloon is horrible, and it's a death trap. And MJ had gone in the hot air balloon earlier that day. I've seen Hooper comment, like, on the grave before. So he knows it's there, he's like, gone and seen it. Yeah. Ford was talking about that all that and MJ had been in the hot air balloon earlier in the day she was like it's actually quite nice and from after hearing about what happened from Boyd as he went back to the ranch afterwards she is never going in hot air balloon again no Seda no he was so close to falling out it could have been oh, that would have been tragic I mean, it was tragic either way. Let's be honest. Hello. A destined tragedy. Listen, if I was in a hot air balloon, in character. Mm hmm. If I was in a hot air balloon. If MJ was in a hot air balloon, she fell from it. There wasn't like a big situation leading up. I, like. Serious, <laughs> no, serious injury at the very least, like, 
saying like, hey, the rope from the hot air balloon caught around her ankle. Her leg is completely fucked. Like, she cannot walk for, like, weeks. And even from then on, she's going to be walking really slow. It'll be this horrible thing, which is maybe worse than burning her, actually. Yeah, the adrenaline of being like, oh, a criminal chase, and then being like, wait, I'm in a balloon. Madame. I'm th it's good it wasn't LJ as well, because guaranteed Graham would have found some way to fall out of the fucking balloon. Move it. Ah. Wow. There's only 22 people on the server? No wonder it's so quiet. God, can you imagine kidnapping someone to throw them out of a hot air I'm, I'm thinking about that, that's such a... Horrifying but great perma <laughs> If Ten Ton Gang did that to MJ, I'd perma her. Most likely. I don't want MJ to be immortal. I just don't want it. someone else to end up stuck with the hey, I have to look after this dead person's baby storyline. <laughs> it's very sad. I've had that happen to me and it's not great. But she is not immortal. Like the goal for MJ, MJ of course wants to take care of her kids, she wants to raise, she wants to raise Rosie, she wants to look after Teddy. Her goal is to eventually become a head train conductor, though the fact that she's been un unable to run trains up west has delayed that for however long. But she wants to eventually be a head train conductor. She, she might stop running trains out east temporarily until the western track is fixed because she doesn't she doesn't want to not work she's just been very hopeful that the track will be fixed soon but but stuff comes up stuff happens now i'm sure it's not like a super easy fix what's her other goals Okay, that's like barrels and stuff. I, I, I just my eyes weren't focused. I was like, is that a dead hall? MJ, I mean, she's got, she's got her two boyfriends. Possibly more in the future. It's gonna be like at the very least like two years. At the very least like two years before anyone can play Marty. Or Vert, Vert play Marty, let alone Rosie. People. Oh, 
Wait, are Wesley and Daisy related? I never thought about that. I never thought about that. Are they related? How did I never think about that? How are they related? Are they like cousins? Oh, um... You know I really want them to be at odds. I think it's, it'd, it'd be very easy for the characters to be at odds because someone who's shown a lot of interest on possibly playing Rosie is Nia. Who I adore so much. And she would have fun with it. She would have she would have a lot of fun with it, I feel. She would be. However, it'd probably have to be Ed eventually dies because Ed is the godmother of Rosie, and I don't know if she can play her own great, play her own fucking godmother. Oh, Shadow. No. <laughs> Where do we go now? We're having a peaceful time. I'm gonna do that. Like, if you're pressing W and you open your fucking uh, inventory. Then it'll just keep running and it can auto run and I can crack my knuckles for a second. Hello. Welcome to cracking my knuckles because I've been fighting around and chatting and What do you mean so you can auto truck? Well, just without holding W or just... Because cause I'm not touching anything right now. You mean just so you can trot through the planes? Well... Do you not know that if you're like holding forward and you open your inventory and then you close your inventory, you can just keep moving forward without doing anything? Because I'm, again, not holding anything. <laughs> I just adjust my mouse every now and then have a peaceful time. Because we got we got two emotes that are pending. One is Morgan with a knife. And the other's the adjusted JoJo one, which she used to have like her fingertips together. I don't know why I'm holding my fingertips together as if you can see me, but she had her fingertips together. I've just cleaned it up a lot, so it's like outlined properly 
and animated it, so just her hands are moving. this before I'm trying to think of what to do for a sub because obviously there's gonna be some wild in there but I don't know if to just do wild whether to plan something as Jojo so there's kind of like a heist I can't be involved in the high value thing that's happening on Friday because MJ's MJ's already like working on that she's already gonna be involved in that Jackbox and Gardic Fine tire me out more than wild. I do have some scary games. I do have like Resident Evil 7 Village. I have the evil within. I've got a few spooky games. Labels. I need to divert to strawberry to get labels. Some lady. It rains with them up. And eat some beans. So get rid of the fucking can. My daughter's a scratchy cat. I find it funny, I, need, I still need to go through a bunch of the recordings I have and just compile, react, like people's first responses to MJ. Because it's always so fucking great. It's funny. People just go <laughs> and just don't know what to do. MJ and Kitty hold a lot of power. <laughs> MJ and Kitty could team up and they could destroy the fucking sun. Is it five? Okay, yeah, it's five. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, I love that clip. Mm, not like Pink. I don't want to use that label because I don't want to have two stacks. Fancy. There we go. At some point, I, 
I know I'm gonna need to perma a character for this to happen. I don't know who it's gonna be. Like, most likely not MJ, most likely not X Curler. Definitely not Rose, because I don't play her frequently enough that anyone would feel much of an impact if she died. Morgan Morgan is open to being permed. Like, she has been for quite a long I mean, all characters are always open to being permed, but she's especially susceptible to being permed. I just haven't been playing her as often lately. First, she has to she has to show her adoptive sons, sweet little kids, where Josiah is buried, so someone else can visit where she died. She's already shown them where Vito was buried. Please show me the moon. The thing is, all of my other characters I have right now have things on them that I can't just replace. My newest character is nearly a year old, and it's Jojo. She should be. Well, I've got Rose, I've got Todd. Todd, who is now part of a group, and also kind of just did something that could get him in trouble with the group he's in, which is go to Gorma to see Addy and Rabbit. And Todd is now officially a Windward. Like, it was it was presumed by Addy that he was, but Addy had never said it until we wrote a telegram yesterday. So Todd is officially also a Windward now. Todd speaks in exactly the same way that Jojo does. Like, my character's all speak very similarly, but Jojo and Todd speak a little bit more rough. I guess is how it'd be put. Is that the little smile, the little smile, the little one that's crushed by Twitch? Put the clip of that little tiny smile in the fucking in the Todd section of my. Discord clips. Which wait a minute. Oh. It's outside the speed team. Who are you? I have a lot of money on me, so I hope you're not. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Doing okay? Yeah, we're just relaxing. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I think they went to bed. Uh, oh, yeah, she's still awake. Yeah, she's still awake. No. Less than an hour ago, I've got two. Doctor went to bed more than an hour ago. No, I don't want to like label the meat. Getting Silas to laugh is great. It's it's really funny getting Addy to break. Because apparently. That tiny, the tiny yeah, smile, the wrong. tiny little smile did it. Like I'm so happy it did. I wonder how an animal ends up Take like it that. Easy. You too. The fact it broke, it broke Addy. I broke Addy a little earlier in the day too by a like a scrump was singing. And then he realized that he was like singing out loud and Indy pointed it out. And uh Howdy. Scrump like got self-conscious and he was like, no, go ahead, sing. It's always nice hearing people sing. And Todd decided to call out, sing that funky tune. And that got out of here.
sing the funky tune. <laughs> See, I wanted to say the extra bit. <laughs> Now Wimwood and he's happy about the Wimwood stuff because Todd's boyfriend doesn't like Todd's like actual last name, like original last name, because it's tree cool like the pudding. So Todd has been trying to convince his boyfriend this whole time, like, hey, you could take Todd's got a boyfriend. Todd's got a boyfriend, it's the doctor character that I want has. Todd's been trying to convince him, hey, my last name's not actually that bad. If you eventually get there. And the doc's been like, no. <laughs> so maybe now, maybe now, the Wimwood would be better. Though, the doc eventually starts getting arrested for shit. Because the doc did rob a bank with people. Actually, Maddie, Maddie's like also like a kid of uh, Addie, right? Because Todd is like a grandchild of Addie, not 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 like a son. We were trying to think. We were trying to think of a gender neutral term for like aunt or uncle. And aunt was my first suggestion, which I immediately said was terrible. Then we've stuck with ankle, which is what Indy suggested. So, so rabbit is Todd's ankle. Rabbit. It was uh, someone else also at one point said Unky, which was way worse. It is. It's been so long. So I'm feeling strange. I say strange, like sleepy, slash fatigued. Really, it's just I didn't expect to speak this much today. I need to mentally prepare myself for Call of Cthulhu. So I can get rid of Cougar. I'm gonna just put some milk in the box. And then I'm gonna sleep. When I say sleep, I'm gonna like. Lay down, I've already actually slept. I don't need more sleep. So my MJ needs to get a knife, so I need to pop down to Armadillo at some point. I don't want to do that right now. Because I'm mentally drained. Maybe also because like I've just been talking to chat, so MJ hasn't actually been catching up with anyone. I just got to send a few telegrams. It's okay. Also, MJ got to learn some forbidden information, which I'm not going to share. What it, I'm going to share what the information technically is. I'm not going to share what it actually like. She found out a uh, flood's name, which was great. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Some people forget that Flood's name isn't actually Flood. <laughs> like his, neither his first nor last name are Flood. And just no one asks. Hey, 
Got a little job. He, he for was getting ya. MJ to guess it, but Flood and MJ are kind of flirty with each other. He described himself as like having kind of like an open relationship with his wife, but they're not sure how open. What? This is perfectly fine. What? You're a fan art? I got fan art? Yeah, no one ever asks. That's what he said with MJ. It's Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> it might be better to send in Discord, because Twitter has a tendency to squash things. So curious. Oh, really? I'm curious. I want to see. I want to see so badly. You have no idea. I... Is this? Is this? Wait, is this my first fan art? It's my first photo of I could ask without without asking someone. MJ needs to sit down. Because I need to sit down. I'm already sat down, but like emotionally I need to sit down. You weren't in my Discord. You betrayed me in this way. It is. I think. I'm fairly sure it is. I think every other after you either I've commissioned it or someone else commissioned it or I've asked for it. Like it was never just out of nowhere. Actually, wait, Erica's drawn MJ. I feel like I should make Erica's done some lovely art of MJ that I can't upload to the RP Discord. Because it counts MJ's corset as her skin. Oh, ahem? Ahem? Um. Oh. Why'd that happen when I said it? <laughs> Wait, I need to put some money away. I have too much money on me. I need to put away... Uh... Oh, I have a knife! Oh, she has so many books. She has another document folder. Did I put stuff in here? Okay. Guns, office folded note. 
Okay. Put this back away. Boop. Uh, should I take the knife? Uh, it's kind of like it's really it's it's kind of a sentimental knife because it's what one of the things one of the two things MJ was found with. Send this back again. Oh yeah, October to December. God, that's only. God, how fucking tiny those books were. Three months. It's filled up a whole fucking tiny book. Excited now. <laughs> uh, I don't see a message about it. I don't... It's okay. What's... What's your, what's your Twitter? Let me send you a message. Maybe... I, do, I don't know if... I don't know. I don't think links should be banned, but... Just write the username, just just to be safe. So curious, so curious. I see some of your art from October. Send you a message. Hmm. <gasps> this is a good note, by the way. This isn't like this is. Save it. What did I say? Is it in download? Where is it? Oh. 
so rare I get one. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little bot. Uh... Right, bot. I did get it and I love it. I love it so much. I'm trying to share it, but it's such a big file that it's... OBS isn't recognizing it. Oh, it's such a big file. OBS can't open it like that. Okay. I'm gonna have to improvise. I'm gonna improvise, okay? Oh my god, you included Rev? Ignore the noise. Rev, that's so sweet. Okay. okay. I'm improvising. I'm scrolling around. I'm looking through things. I'm doing everything I can. Okay. Image. <laughs> I get it to perfectly match the picture, but it's so good. Really? I need, I need, I need to open it so I can see it as as well. So cute. And it's got Ed and Liza and Ogle and Marty. I love that Marty's there. <laughs> oh, I do have big ears. Take it easy, let me check. I do have big ears. <laughs> Thank you for the photo keys, photo keys. Look at the little kitties. They're so sweet. The fact that Rosie and Ed are there is really funny because if she does end up playing Rosie. <laughs> Look, it's Nia and Nia. It's so beautiful. I love it so funny. It's in colouring in the full thing. You don't need to colour in the full thing. It's beautiful as is. I love it. Look at these babies. Look. <laughs> oh, Oglethorpe. Oglethorpe actually having a good time. Is it, can it happen? <laughs> I think Revenant's getting a new nose soon. So he can. It's not yet. <laughs> No, these are so sweet. There's, God, there's there'd be so many screens. Oh no. God, I love it so much. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. That's so good. I, I 
I can't speak with this. But now we need to find somewhere to be. Streaming. Oh, there were just three of us. MJ has to go back to Rosie, which is perfect. It's an excuse for whenever I can't get on. Hmm. Who's Clint Cox? Is it someone I've met? Yeah, the Rev Rev really cares about MJ and Rosie. It's very sweet. Like MJ met Rev while MJ was very heavily pregnant. So it was talked about out of character that they met. Because obviously I couldn't play her. Okay, but can I get a... Yeah, that's the awkward bit. I mean... There's someone called Sam Tabor, 23. I might have just forgot usernames. I'm really bad with usernames. I'm doing my best. You guys take care, okay? We're gonna go live. Give him lots of love. <laughs> 